One of the biggest downsides of living out of the United States is how infrequently I'm able to spend time with my family. I haven't seen a single family member since January of 2020, and some of them I haven't seen since the summer of 2020. But my entire family, brothers, sisters, spouses, parents, nieces, and nephews, have not all been in the same place since August of 2015, at the last family wedding. And since then, I've gained eight nieces and nephews. So, a big part of this trip back to the United States was to spend time with family. And since there was another wedding, everyone would be in the same place at the same time. So one of the biggest events of the weekend, other than a wedding I suppose, was getting all 33 of us in one place at one time. Happening in here. Yeah. He's stuck. He's the eye. Miles is stuck. How are you stuck? Like it's like it. You need help getting out? Yes. Okay. So let's try this. Wait, wait, what's wait, what's I'm stuck? Reading. Your bum? Okay. So can you Pull one leg out. No, but that won't work. Turn, turn so that your legs are over here, both of them, both legs. Keep coming, keep coming, and then now pull one out. There you go. And as is often customary at weddings, many of the girls went off to celebrate the bride, while the groomsmen and a few others got together for one last celebration of my brother before he got married. And as everyone knows, you can't have a wedding without practicing it thoroughly. So we went through our motions of the wedding the day before, and practiced how to walk in and out of the ceremony without messing up. And after that, it was time for dinner, so the entire wedding party, both families, and a few select friends of the couple got together and shared a night of food, dinner, and various toasts, celebrating Smith and Becca and their new life together. I love to play wedding. And uh, so Emma and I would decorate the entire play room. Um, we would like line up stuffed animals to be the audience and I would put on a white dress and Smith was the only available male. <laughs> and so he would, he would agree to be the groom on the condition that he was allowed to get drunk at the reception. <laughs> and so our, our wedding games <coughs> turned into our other favorite game, which was bar fight. A prince's daughter, rich in blessing, Veil billowed by winds that smell of spices. Henna. <laughs> Henna, cinnamon, saffron. About a half hour into the trip, Smith fell asleep driving the car. And then I drove the rest of it. It was something like 48 hours of driving. And I drove the rest of it because I wouldn't let him drive the car. <laughs> like the music of James Horner. And in that vein, you should copy all the best ideas from everybody else's marriages, too. You were my first friends. You were my friend now. You have served me in so many ways. He's a good looking kid. He's driven. He's smart. He's talented. He loves God. He adores my daughter. And because I know myself and how unprepared I can be for these events, I saved my toast for now. Becca, I don't know you well. In fact, I think we've only spoken a handful of times, and of course, that's on me for living on the other side of the globe. But I do know that if Smith decided he wants to spend his life with you, you must be pretty great. I hope that over the years of family get-togethers and other weddings, I can get to know you more. 
Welcome to the family. And Smith, oh boy. I don't even know where to start. I could tell so many stories. Like the time I told you that bees were scared of the shade, so any time you were chased by one, you would just run under a tree. Or when I told you that I could see every song you listened to on my iPod while you were mowing the lawn, so that you wouldn't listen to anything inappropriate. Or that every time I beat you in a video game, something that has no chance of happening anymore, you would throw your controller at me. But there were also good stories, where we would watch hours and hours of the 2003 NBA playoffs, and go out into the driveway and reenact those same plays that we saw. Or how we would purposely time our wood splitting so that the Dr. Pop students would show up for class and do it for us. And then we would practice our basketball moves on them and routinely embarrass them. Or the hours and hours and hours of time spent playing NHL hits. I can't give you any advice on being married because, well, for obvious reasons. But I do know that if you treat your marriage with the dedication that you've pursued your music dreams, nothing will be able to stand in your way. You and Becca seem to make one another very happy, and I'm so thankful for that. I hope I get to spend more time with both of you in the future, but for now, thank you for the incredible wedding, for bringing our whole family together, and good luck in LA.